Family posing does not have to be scary. I know that it can be stressful. There's a lot going on in a family session, but today I'm gonna to share with you my five insider tips for family posing that are gonna help take all of that stress away. So if you photograph families or if you want to, you wanna check out these five quick tips. Family sessions are a lot of fun. They are probably my favorite type of photo session that I do. But I remember a time when I found myself feeling a little bit stressed out. There's a lot going on. Um, and I think that part of what makes family sessions fun, but also stressful, is that you are doing a lot. You're engaging multiple people, not just one person, not just two adults. Um, and so when you have a family session happening, there's a lot to think about. And I have found that it's super, super helpful to have uh, tips that are just kind of always in the back of my mind. And I also have a very specific posing flow that I follow. So if you're interested in learning more about the posing flow that I recommend, you can check that out in some of our other family posing videos. But for today, I'm going to walk you through these tips. And these are just things that I am always keeping in mind when I go into a family session. And I'm hopeful that they'll help you as well. So the first one, this might seem obvious, but I think this is really, really important to remember if you photograph families, and that is that your family sessions should be a lot of fun. My goal when I have a family session is that the entire family walks away saying, that was fun, or that wasn't as bad as I thought, or let's do it again. And if you can get the family on board with that, especially dad and the kids, you're going to get mom coming back, hiring you again over and over and over. And so the way that I like to do that is by incorporating fun games, interaction in my sessions. And that takes the soft skill of learning to interact with your clients, learning to read them, learning to kind of understand maybe who's more timid and how do you draw them out? How are you sensitive to their personality? But I also think that the fun begins way before you even start the games. So by making it fun, one of the things that I mean is like as soon as they arrive, you may not be doing games yet. Like you're just walking through the parking lot or you're walking down the trail to the spot that you've chosen. And you want to be interacting with the kids and with mom and dad, just showing them that, hey, I'm a human too. We can all relax. We can have a lot of fun, make some jokes. So I'm always keeping that in the back of my mind. Is like, how am I making this fun? Am I making this a really enjoyable time where they're actually creating memories, not just here doing a tour because mom wants them to be? So the second tip is I always let the kids lead. One of the things that you have to be aware of with family sessions, especially families that have small children, is to be very, very sensitive to the kids and what they're wanting to do, where they're wanting to go. If you've ever photographed small children, you know that you cannot force them to do anything. So if you're wanting to do something in particular and they're just not having it, it's really not going to be in your best interest to try to push it. So if you're wanting to do individual photos of a child and they're really wanting mom to hold them, it's okay. Break up your planned flow and say, perfect, let's go ahead and do photos of so-and-so with mom. Or maybe the kid's totally not having the, the posed family photos and they're wrangling and trying to get out of mom's arms and it's just not working. Okay, no problem. Let's let mom and the little one go take a break and let's get some photos of dad and the other kids or let's do individual photos with the other kids. So while I like to have a posing flow in mind that I try to follow every session to stay on top of what I've done and what I haven't done, I'm also very sensitive to what's happening in the session and how those kids are feeling to make sure that we're not putting extra pressure on them or asking them to do something that's just beyond their ability at that age. So you always want to be sensitive, kind of let them lead. You may want a certain shot, but that kid may not be into it. So let them lead and kind of take their cues from them. I also make sure that I mention this to parents right at the beginning of my sessions. I tell them like, hey, the little ones are going to be in charge today. So we're going to try some things. We're going to do some things. And if they're not having it, I don't want you to stress or try to make them do it. We're going to, we're going to shift. We're going to pivot and we're going to try something else. So don't panic if that happens. We're following their lead. And by setting that expectation up at the front, you help take that pressure off of mom and dad because when their little one starts maybe 
fidgeting or not cooperating, they're going to panic. But if they know, and you've already prepared them that, hey, this is likely going to happen, and it's cool, we're just going to go with it, then they're already relaxed when that happens. So the last couple of tips that I'm going to share with you are a little bit more technical and practical. And this is about like the actual posing with your families. And one of the things that I'm always trying to do is make sure that everybody is connected in some way. I don't want there to be, you know, a couple of people connected and then we've got like big brother that's just kind of hanging over on the side and we didn't notice. I want to make sure in all of my family photos that everybody is being um, touched or has a hand held or an arm on the shoulder or an arm around the waist, something in some way. And I also try to change it up so it's not just, um, it's not just like everyone's holding hands. So I may have one person holding hands, I may have dad with his arm around mom's shoulder, may have, um, you know, one of the kids hugging dad's leg, different things like that, um, and just trying to add some variety into that. But by making sure everyone's connected, you are just naturally bringing that connection into those photos and making it less awkward and stiff. The fourth tip is this kind of rule that I have and that I keep in mind is like, if it bends, bend it. So like, what does that mean? So one of the biggest problems that people have with posing in general, whether it's families or individuals or couples, is people looking stiff and awkward and really kind of wondering how do you get around that. And there's a lot of different things that you can do, but one of the things that I keep in mind is to have things bent. Like you don't want people standing there straight legged, straight arms. Um, so you can think about like here we have like very dramatic bends. I have this family crouched down on the ground, their arms are up around the child. So that's like very obvious bending. But even if they were standing, then maybe you have dad kind of bend his elbow by sliding his hand into his pocket. Um, and then you have mom with her arm bent and up around dad or holding the child. So you just want to take a look at hands and arms and legs and have them bend. What does that mean for women? And like, they're like, how do you bend your legs if you're standing, right? That has more to do with like putting your weight on one leg. I always have women shift their weight to their back leg and then bend their front leg a little bit or take that front leg and like cross it over um, at the ankles, something like that. So you kind of are avoiding that stiff, straight legged look. And the last tip, something that I always try to keep in mind is like no hanging hands. So instead of having someone's hand hanging, uh, make it connect with someone or something. So maybe that's connecting with a person around them or near them, like in this picture. But that could also mean, like I just referenced in the tip before, having a hand slide into a pocket or having a hand on the side of a dress. So like a lot of times with women, they may not have a pocket because they're wearing a dress or a skirt that doesn't have pockets. Um, so you can have them like grab the side of their skirt and just gently, um, one trick to make that look natural and not awkward is to have them like really softly and slowly just kind of sway that skirt back and forth while it's in their hand and that makes it look natural while they're holding it. Um, but you always want to just check for hands, make sure there's no hand just kind of hanging down. And if there is, find a place for it. Find a place that's either connecting with someone or with something on their own person. So those are just the five quick tips. These are things that I'm always thinking about. And once you start to really solidify these tips and these thoughts through your sessions, they just become more second nature. So practical things, Posing things like um, keeping everybody connected, having bent arms and legs, having your hands connecting to someone, but also things that are going to help your posing like, hey, the kiddos are going to lead and by doing that you're going to get the best photos. And um, hopefully by sharing these tips this helps you with your family sessions. I know it's really helped me. So check back soon for more tips.